Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me how to apply our botanical foundations by Limelight and I just wanted to do a quick video here this morning before I got my day going and I keep getting sidetracked but I'm just pushing through and I'm going to do this little video for you. I've already prepped my face, um, it's been cleansed and I've already applied my Sotox, one pump of Sotox, one drop of One Drop Wonder one pump of Skin Therapist and one pump of Must Do. So it sounds like a lot of products, but you're just using a tiny bit of them and it just, every product has its own wonderful um, benefit benefits. So um, I won't go into detail about that because it's about the applying of the Botanical Foundation right now. Um, the Botanical Foundation has a wax and uh, plant wax and oil base. So it does go on very smoothly over um, the must-do oil. So it doesn't, it sounds like it would be too oily, but it doesn't. It just creates a second skin over the top of your skin. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna prime my skin and I'm gonna prime it with our, um, our first base primer spray. I've got it in a little travel bottle because my makeup goes with me um, back and forth to work and I have to fly to work out of state. So it's in a little spray bottle for me to take to work. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of spritzes there and that's going to help prime my skin, get it ready for the, the foundation. Um, I use the foundation in this great little combination kit. It's got my foundation and it's got two um, concealers and you can get whatever color concealers that you that work best with you if you do a lot of that um, high professional um, contouring where you want the really dark color in the in the contour areas you can get a darker concealer to do that um, if you've got a lot of red in your skin you might want to get the number one that has a bit of green in it to counteract the red each one of our concealers has a specific area that it will assist in I'm using um, a number zero because I'm really, really fair, and I have a little bit of darkness around my eyes here, so I'm going to also use um, number three because it has a little bit of red to counteract the darkness. So <clears throat> when you get your, your, uh, your foundations, you wanna use them a little bit warmed up. You can do that a couple of ways. You can scrape out a little bit with a spatula and put it on the back of your hand and then just warm it with your fingertip and dab it around and then smooth it over with a, a brush or a blunderful uh, sponge. Um, I use a clean finger and I'm just going to lightly rub it here. I'm going to look into my mirror down here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to dab it around on my skin where it needs, especially make sure to pay attention to the nose area. I can't stand it when I've got those pores that's, that it looks like you just skimmed over the top and you've got these um, the marks left from your pores. Um, also. I can't say enough about our, our uh, skin care. I've noticed that some of the little lines that were created around my eyes as I've aged, um, they're, they're diminishing, they're getting softer and they're going away and I can't uh, speak highly enough about our products and our skin care for that reason. Um, I, my skin is the best it's ever looked. So I'm just kind of dabbing it around. Don't forget around the ears too guys, they're part of your face. So once I get a few dabs here and there, oh, in my concealer, I'm gonna use my ring finger here to reach in and get some of that uh, number three concealer that has the little pinkish tone to it to kind of go over the dark area. And the extra I'm gonna actually rub on my eyes because it does create a nice um, primer for your eyeshadows. So just not actually applying a whole lot, just the extra that's left on my finger. Now I'm gonna go back in with the light. Now I'm gonna take that light all the way across um, my cheekbone, the top of my cheekbone. You don't wanna have like those raccoon eyes where you just have like one white um, half moon under your eyes. And so just gently apply that. And that's it. Then I'm gonna take my buffer brush, it's a little flat top brush here, and I'm just going to swirl. And that's just going to lightly blend all of that, the little bit of foundation that I applied. And don't forget the earlobes again, under your jaw. And don't forget the nose. And 
Okay, pretty smooth. Okay, now I'm going to quickly show you my blush. I use the angled blush brush for this, but what I'm going to use first, and in you in our uh, we have a three pack, and you can choose between blushes and bronzer and uh, pressed powder if you want. You can mix and match any which way you you'd like, and you can actually pop these out. There's like a little hole that you can put a pen or something small. Um, to pop those out and replace with whatever colors that you want. For the summertime, I like using the bronzer and the number six blush, which is kind of an illuminator. It's a little bit of a highlighter. And I use this um, number one blush. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna see how little I use of each product. For I'm gonna use the bronzer first. So I'm just gonna take a swipe right on the crease of my uh, cheek here. Then I'm gonna just blend it up along my hairline. I'm pretty fair and the foundation that I use is pretty light, um, Gina Beige. And so I just want to warm up my skin a little bit so I just don't look quite so ghostly in the summertime. And I'm not one to really get out and suntan. So this gives me a little bit of a summer glow without actually damaging my skin and getting out in the, the heat. Now I'm going to come in just one little swipe of that pink right on the apple of my cheek. To give some color and same with the other cheek one little swipe you see that gives quite a bit of color kind of got a little bit extra there okay and now I'm going to take my highlighter one swipe down the nose where you would be basically kissed by the Sun is where you want to put that you don't want it all over your face because then you'll look like a bronze statue, but just where the sun would hit your face, which gives you a nice little summertime glow. And that's it. Now I'm ready for my eyes and the rest of my uh, lips and everything, but I just wanted to show you my foundation and my blush, and I'll be making some more videos and throwing out there for you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.